morning. As 60 comes into view, which I know makes me a kid to some gathered here, I look to receive and create inspiration as another year unfolds. I am excited and discouraged, calm and sometimes anxious. The world storms with weather and strains, personalities and politicians royal our human family. Flags from both 2020 candidates caught my eye on the way here. Persons of those households are my fellows to be dignified for we share the same air and likely have more in common than what divides us. It is a beautiful and burdened world and I feel stimulated and stymied as a human on the way and now with you I feel safety and solidarity and healthy challenge to be vulnerable and sharp, real and human. As spring lays buried, hibernated in reverence, brooding as minutes of daylight increase, I face this year with two children newly in the military, safe and sound now and likely in their emerging careers. I abide in pride, wonder, and a disquieting tentativeness as I imagine the world they inherit and help create. I hope they will not be crushed or cramped with useless busyness or emptied by their cynicism. I face the world and New Year as this community looks to further clarify purposes and values, just cause. We continue to give birth to something that is real and human and transformative before we too are gone. We are part of something, an ideal that goes on explored and refined now and after us. There may be some here now or ones we know who will not be with us as this spring emerges. I call myself and you to give credence to our intuitions and the unburying of our giftedness. May my and, the un and your giftedness and intuitions come forth. May we give credence to all these as this year emerges. May they all come together to form a stronger and healthier whole, a community on the way. I face the world in 2022 with resistance and openness. Resistance to needed change and growth and openness to the surprising possibility. Perhaps my malaise and the seductive but limiting temptations to the familiar and remaining safe but cramped will finally be more negative than the pain it takes to, to become a better partner and person. Kim, in this next chapter of her and our life, is deserving of a partner ready and active with continued change. I hope I will be open and courageous enough to journey and change alone and with her, and that she will dance with me with her expectations, contentments, and acceptances. I want to move beyond my ponderous ego, my contradictions. Perhaps she and you can assist me to defy my atrophy, complacency, and stubbornness. Perhaps I will be open to giving and receiving a different and fuller love, a 2022 love, a newer just cause. In our common humanity, I present myself to you, with you, to live, to envision what I am willing to work toward as an individual, a community member, professional, partner, father, friend, and son, to not die before I am dead, to be proportionate and poised and not lazy or dramatic. I dedicate myself to this year and to this world, to and for my children, and to you saints and salty sages and this community. I look for and create inspiration within and from myself and the likes of you, from Kim, my children, friends, and family. I look forward to 2022 with you. So let it be.